Hi Bond Bakers, welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and if you're new here, I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today, have I got a recipe for you. We are going to be making Nutella cookies with just three ingredients. Four if you want to get kind of fancy. Nutella is one of the best things ever. This beautiful hazelnut spread is just full of chocolate. You can add it to toast, eat it by the spoonful, like what I do, <laughs> or put it in cookies. So let me show you what you are gonna need. We have one egg, one cup of Nutella, or you can use any hazelnut spread, and we have three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, if you do want to get a little bit fancy, as I said before, the fourth ingredient is salt, rock salt. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit on top as they bake, and that is going to take your cookies to the next level. Pro tip. As always, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box below for you. And for the full recipe to download and print for free, head to labonbaker.com. A couple of other things that you will need and I'll run through them now for you. I have a cookie scoop here. Now, if you don't have one of these, that's fine. Just a tablespoon or a normal spoon is fine as well. I've also got a spatula and I've got a baking tray, which I've just lined with some parchment paper. I've also got here my kitchen aid. So this is not necessary. Um, you can just do yours with hand beaters as well, but I have realized this morning that I don't have hand beaters anymore. So that's why I'm gonna be using my kitchen aid today. Lastly, get that oven preheated, turn it on to a moderate temperature, so 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these cookies come together super quickly, so it takes about 20 minutes, including bake time. So first off, grab your egg and your Nutella, pop those into your bowl. Scoop it out. Oh, look at this chocolate goodness. Yes. Nutella honestly is one of the best things ever. Whoever thought of this, pure genius. All right, so let's beat this now until it's combined. All right, I'm just gonna take this off the latch here, pull it up, beautiful consistency, and that has combined really well. I'm just going to scrape off this Nutella and egg mix from the beater here, and then we can start to fold in our flour. And I'm not gonna do it with the beater, I'm just going to do it with my spatula here because we want to just combine it. We don't wanna overwork the flour because then it becomes tough. So we want to make it really nice, light and fluffy. Now all we need to do is add in our flour. So I'm just going to pour this in and then start to fold it. This is already starting to form a beautiful chocolate fudgy dough-like texture. And it smells really delicious already. We haven't even started baking yet. Check out the texture and consistency that this is. Literally a dough of chocolate, amazing fudgy goodness. Check it out. It's time to roll out these bad boys. So go ahead and grab your cookie scoop or your normal spoon. And we want these to be as even as possible. That's why I like using a cookie scoop because you kind of know that you're going to get the same amount every time. We're going to roll these into a ball, just like that. And then onto the tray they go. They're looking good already. Now you can make these cookies bigger or smaller, whatever size that you like. 
I like mine to be pretty big, so that's why I'm doing them this size. And when they're gonna bake, they will expand and grow as well. So this dough has given me seven well-sized cookies. And if you've got more people to feed, just double it. And if you're Nutella cookie obsessed, triple it. So here's that fourth ingredient I was talking about, the salt. So just give it a little crack on top of the cookies and it's just gonna make them pop and sing. We are going to bake these now for about 10 to 12 minutes. And once we bring them out, we're gonna have to let them cool a little bit because the base is going to set. While our cookies are baking away, I thought it was the perfect time to share with you all a positive quote for the day. So the one that I found for you is, you give life to what you give energy to. And I can't find the author of the quote, so if you do know, let me know in the comments below. I particularly love this quote. It just goes to show that what you focus on is what really does come to life, and you can manifest that as well. So let's all focus on what we want and put the energy into the things that we want to bring to life. Back to baking. Yum, chocolate goodness. Oh, they smell absolutely incredible. Now we're gonna let them cool and set a bit more. These are still gonna be nice and soft and a little bit chewy, um, but we do need to let them set because if you were to try and eat them now, they'd just crumble and fall apart. And I have taken my cookies out of the oven after 12 minutes. I've been waiting long enough and now I want to eat my cookie. So it's time to check these out. Oh, looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. I'll just break this open for you. Oh, check it, check it, check it. Got that bit of gooey, fudgy center. Got the crispy base. And they're really nice and softly baked. Mmm. And that salt pops through. What an awesome cookie with just a few ingredients. Absolutely amazing. Hard to stop eating these ones. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I really do hope that you love this recipe and you give it a go. There's just three ingredients, four if you wanna get fancy, and it's absolutely amazing. You will not regret making Nutella cookies. If you do like this video, please make sure you give me a like and subscribe to my channel, Le Bon Baker, and hit the bell too, because I have a new video coming out every single week. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.